Hello everyone, it's Orange County Rail Fan here, and today I'm going to be doing a trip report. So today, I head down to LAX to fly on United Airlines on a 787-9 Dreamliner, which probably is my most favorite plane that I've flown on in my life so far. So, let's go ahead and make our way to LAX, where I get to see tons of cool things, have some food, then get ready to board the plane and go through security and all the necessary things. So here we are, we're just off the side of the freeway entering LAX. You can see the LAX sign, Tom Bradley, and the air traffic control tower. And it's really cool. And then you can see a Delta A321 right there. And uh, yeah, it's really cool here so far. And then my plane is over there. My plane is that blue United tail. And I went past the, the Delta Sky Team building, which is really cool. So, I headed straight to the airport, and I'm going to skip filming in security because, well, I don't want to be filming there, just so that it's easier. And here we are at the gate with the 787-9 that I will be on for the next 11 hours. I was on the plane for 11 hours because the flight kind of got delayed. But the reason why it was delayed is because a computer in the cockpit was having trouble receiving the data it needed in order to safely fly. So I got a bit of plane spotting and I've got a full blown window seat. This is super cool. I'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, bro, this is crazy. This plane, this giant, this airplane seat is huge. This is wild. Okay. And this window is dimmable. Watch this. So, Ashley, is that four? Here, take that. So, that's clearly dimmable. I'm going to copy down for a minute. I want to see it. Hi. After a half hour delay, we were finally pushing back from gate 76B at LX. The best thing about the flight was that in-flight entertainment was available even while we were taxiing, so I got to watch some of my most favorite movies while we were taxiing to the runway, which made it a lot quicker than it actually was. Another cool part about pushback and taxi was seeing the air marshal direct the person who was pushing back the plane, and I got to see some other planes too. And shortly after pushback, they began to turn on the engines and set down the flaps.
LAFD were at the airport next to my plane, Truck 95 is leading a quad of fire trucks. Actually, well, like five fire trucks. It's pretty cool to see. Really cool to see. Not sure what they were doing. Maybe it was a drill. Otherwise, they were having some kind of an emergency. There's engine 95, engine 295, uh, Hazmat 90, Hazmat Squad 95, not sure what they were doing there, and Rescue 95, and a line of extra cars. We continued our taxi to runway 25 right. And that means that we are getting very close to the runway. As you could see, the pilot, as you could hear, the pilot uh, told the flight attendants to be seated for takeoff. Or that was the first officer, depending on who's controlling the aircraft while taxiing. We're making our way to runway 25 right, and you can see a Boeing 787-10 right there. That is a longer aircraft than the aircraft I am on and a 737 MAX, or no, a 737-800, I believe, right there, or 737-900, most likely an 800, judging by the length. Um, all right, let's continue making our way to 25 right. Oh yeah. And I saw a Cathay Pacific Cargo 747, which was really cool to see, because I never get to see those. a DHL 777 freighter in the background. We are now on runway 25 right and we are about to begin takeoff. This is it. set and we are rolling down runway 25 right. And we are now off the ground, just left runway 25 right at LAX, and we are ascending into the skies. As we make our left turn, we can see LAX from the ocean, and we are going to head back over land and proceed into back into California off of the Pacific.
Then we're going to fly over the Los Angeles mountains into the Mojave Desert and through the Rockies into Canada and over Greenland eventually. I was not expecting this flight to be so turbulent. As we flew up into the skies, we got some turbulence because we were flying through some cumulus clouds. And then we continue off of the Pacific Ocean over downtown LA and into the wonderful mountains that await us. I don't know how much longer after takeoff we were in uh, the skies at cruising altitude, but this awesome view during snack service really made up for the time that we lost. I was getting very tired as we started to get into Canada and the sun went down. I was very tired. I wanted to keep watching movies, but at the same time, I was very tired. So I decided to close my eyes and get some shut-eye. And I ended up getting about 20 minutes of shut-eye, which wasn't very bad. I woke up when it was still dark, so I decided not to record for a little while, but as dinner, as, uh, excuse me, breakfast service started to begin, I saw the polar ice caps in Greenland. It was quite scenic to see these awesome polar ice caps just perfectly sheeted. Um, fortunately, they look to be melting, and that's, uh, of global warming and it's our fault but it was very beautiful to see the polar ice caps um quite a different experience especially because i'm from california where you never see snow or ice like uh, in those specific areas but i got a turkey sandwich which was absolutely delicious and i loved it with some m ms included uh let me show you that As we flew away from Greenland, I began to see a fuel trail, which is just how impactful jet fuel is to the sky, which is unfortunate, but we began to start getting closer to London, and 
I was starting to get excited. Next thing I know, we were starting to descend into London Heathrow, and it was quite beautiful as we saw the clouds, and we were beginning to descend. And you can see we have personal device entertainment, United Wi-Fi and power, and a tray table, and a safety card. Next thing we know, we were on our beautiful approach into London Heathrow with farming visible and clouds we are flying through as we begin to be on our final approach into London Heathrow. You can see all the beautiful landscape and for the next five minutes I will not be recording with my microphone so that you guys can just hear all the sounds of an airplane and just admire all the scenery and have a moment of peace. But this is just so beautiful as we approach into London Heathrow. Are you bored yet? If so, then I will tell you when to skip ahead. Need all your water bottles, cell phones, ear pods, books, magazine, eyeglasses, water bottles. Please hold or store for the landing. Thank you. And our flight attendant made the final announcement of the day. Well, second to final announcement because uh, after we arrived, they made another announcement. So there you go. If you're bored, skip ahead to because it could be just a little smoother, but that was overall a very smooth landing compared to the one coming back from uh, London. That was a very not smooth landing. I would give the one coming back from London a four out of 10. The best part about the runway is they didn't have to use too much braking because uh, the runway was a lot longer.
will be tied into the next few moments. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until the fastened seatbelt sign has been turned off. Check the seat pocket in front of you and gather all of your personal belongings as you will not be permitted to reboard the aircraft to retrieve any of your lost articles. Use caution when opening the overhead compartments as the contents may have shifted during the flight. We have several passengers making very tight connections here at London Heathrow. If you please allow those passengers to deploy first to give them a better chance to make their connecting flight. On behalf of United Airlines and our Starlines partners, we'd like to thank you for choosing United today. We hope that you've enjoyed your flight and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a wonderful day. The best part is, it was a very short taxi to the gate. I got to see a United 767, which I normally don't get to see. But, we're about to see a British Airways Concorde and a Singapore Airlines A380. That tiny nose to the left of that British Airways plane is a Concorde. And we're about to see a Singapore Airlines A380, as I just said. best part about this is I never get to see these kinds of aircraft. I also saw a Turkish Airlines A330, which I never see. Those two landing gear on that A330 make it a butter machine. Oh, and a JetBlue uh, A320 taking off as well. So for my final thoughts, I'm going to say United Airlines did a great job. Uh, 10 out of 10 service on this flight uh, to London Heathrow from LAX. Um, pilots handled uh, the turbulence that we went through frequently very well. They did an excellent job. 10 out of 10 overall for this flight. This flight was very good. Excellent service to United Airlines today. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed it's okay if you don't fine by me but i really would appreciate it if you subscribed all right guys thanks for watching this was just a fun trip report that video that i decided to do um yeah all right peace out